Welcome to the Clan Pan, Real Estate Minute, Episode 2. I am your host, Thrall, Sheila. I am your other host, Thrall, Daryl. Today's video will focus on a location where the clan established another base soon after Base 1. This new area is called Island Base by the clan. It was another good location for a base and continues to be active in providing resources and a well-defended way stop when traveling in the game. As you can see on the map, this location is the large island in Sector J5, and the base is built predominantly on the high ground on the island. About 90% of this high ground is inaccessible, except by climbing, and the accessible part can be blocked with a short wall and a gate with doors is shown. The choice of location, design of layout, building, and acquiring of thralls for defense of this base were done by our glorious clan master, Okralat. This high ground gives the base the advantage of a defensible position, when the game decides that a purge is to occur and this area is the target. Also, like base 1, this location has generous basic resources, such as stone, wood, and plant life. Additionally, there are wild animals on the island and areas north and east that you can kill to get ample supplies of meat and hide. Unlike Base 1, this location is not ravaged by random sandstorms. However, it does seem to rain a lot. Therefore, the only notable disadvantage of building a base at this location is that there isn't a relatively close obelisk for when you want to fast travel back to this location. Yet, as a little clan trivia, it was the first location that the clan installed a map room to take advantage of the obelisks in the game. With all that in mind, there are some very positive things to highlight near this base location. There are two villages to the west of the base that can provide various resources for beginner and experienced players. Most notably, generous supplies of iron just south of the closer village. Like the cave near base 1, there are numerous level 1, 2, 3, and named characters to turn into thralls, or kill for the experience and items they may be carrying. This reminds me. Hey Daryl. Yes Sheila. Aren't you from one of the villages? Why yes I am. My name is Daryl, Tarman, and I am from the more northern village. Well, that's nice. But, what happened to your accent? You mean, me and my mates are thick as thieves and all that? Yes. Well, thankfully, I got educated by one of the clan masters, and we don't like talking about that part of the family. Moving on. The other thing to highlight about this base location is the world boss, Rock Branch, to the north. Like base one, you and your mates can kill this boss every 30 to 40 minutes to mine for legendary weapons and or shields. I see from that footage that you helped the master kill that particular boss recently. I hope you were justifiably rewarded. Yes, indeed I was. The master gave me this hand-me-down legendary shield. I am such a lucky thrall. You deserved it. The last thing to highlight, nearby and north of this island base, are horses. You can make yourself a stable and saddle crafting bench to turn these horses into very useful mounts. Well, this is where we want to end the presentation of the Clan Pan, Real Estate Minute, Episode 2, where we focused on the clan's island base. Again, many thanks to our clan masters, especially Master Okralat, for allowing us to speak to all of you about the base he created for all of us. We hope that what we presented to you was helpful if you choose to play the game and are looking for suggested base locations. Please convey to our lords and ladies, at Clan Pan, that we are worthwhile thralls and have been giving excellent service to all of you. I am Thrall Sheila. Goodbye from the both of us, and have a wonderful and most pleasant day. I am Gen X PC Gamer Guy, and thanks for watching my video.